what's hotter than the hubs of hell in the distance you can hear the faint sounds of paradiddles play to six tuplets you can hear put it as phrased as ninelets and unfortunately the smell of gross teenage sweaty band nerd is in the air and that can only mean one thing it's marching band season if you're a longtime listener or viewer of my channel you know that i at least once a year usually around this time do a marching band slash drumline video we're mostly known for music commentary and drum set stuff but marching band is something that I love. It's something that I did for eight years and then I taught for 13. And that's what leads us to this video. That thumbnail is me. It's one of my favorite pictures I have of myself. Yes, I used to have hair. This has to do with a certain type of drumline instructor. And I want to warn and advise you not to be this one because I used to be it a little bit. There is a strain of macho extension of one's ego that runs through, unfortunately, the drumline teacher community. And it's about time we back off. I have uh, students in five different lines this year. And I have one student, I'm gonna try to say this as vaguely as possible as to keep them a mystery. This student is a freshman on the drum line and if and he's in a pretty good solid competent marching band and they are being mildly terrorized by a drum line instructor that in my opinion is taking things too far here's something that you will see and a few things you will see from drum line instructors from time to time lots of yelling and the one thing I really don't like is the the forced exercising, like doing push-ups if you mess up or doing laps. Now, these are all things that I've done in the past and I regret them because it's like that idea that you hear, like you should never spank your kid when you're angry. Drumline teachers can sometimes get too wrapped up in how the drumline reflects on themselves and therefore act in what I, or at least in my estimation, is at the very least mildly inappropriate behaviors at your students. I taught a long time ago when you could still get by with it a lot. And my first drumline gig was four years at a certain high school. And I was this, I was this kind of teacher. Definitely had success with that line, like we won when the band never did, but I'm not so sure if I could have done it better. And I did do it better as I calmed down and became more wise and old as I went along as a drum line instructor. I taught at three different high schools and I've done band camps for about five or six. Stop it. Stop it. Just like it's, it's unnecessary. Now that's not to say that you shouldn't crack the whip. You do have to do that. And I'm to not feel like I'm a hypocrite, I've made kids cry in in private lessons and in the drum line from being too brutally honest. And I think that students need that way more now than any time in our uh, public school system. I don't know if it's effective to always be looking for a reason to be a pejorative, that's, my, that's not the right word, to be just negative towards the uh, a player or a line in general. It's, it's silly. And here's something that you never see this from. Uh, you never see a female drum on instructor acting like this. This is strictly a male thing. And I, <laughs> I might be uh, tattling on my gender. You will be better served by saving those explosions and man if you've done drumline you know what i'm talking about you need to be strategic with those explosions because if you do it all the time the students get numb to it it's that old saying uh you know not believing a dog that barks all the time you have a dog that barks all the time you're not going to believe it when there's an intruder coming in and that's the big point i hope i'm trying to get across today ease up on the exercising it was 101 degrees uh, a couple of days ago, yesterday, 
and the day before where I live. This is no time to be doing that kind of stuff. And man, look, let's be honest. As a percentage, these are out of shape band nerds. And always remember on this channel, we use band nerds as a term of endearment. Just check yourselves. Make sure that you're not doing this. Save that explosion for when it will get maximum results. And for the love of God, the amount of trophies that you get in a season is not a reflection of you. It is a reflection of the work that you have done with those children at the end of the day. And I really hate that cliche, but I'm going to use it right now. You will find more reward when you are happy for those kids, for them and not for you. And here's a bonus and I'll get on out of here. Drumline instructors, please start dressing better. Holy shit. It's been decades and decades of wearing uh, Puma, Sambas, soccer shoes with white socks and basketball shorts and a Vic Firth shirt on and a Zildjian hat on backwards. Let's dress the part. If you can see from the thumbnail, I always dressed like I was demarcated, if that's the right word, from the students, because you're younger and you are close to their age, you will be able to not have to be so brusque and harsh with your drumline if you dress better, I promise you, because now they're taking you seriously and they see you in the same light as the band director and the principal. And look, man, you just look bad. I'm so sick of seeing that. Yes, we see that you have a Vic Firth stick bag slung around your back. It's not classy. It's not elegant. And that's what we should be going for, being a good example to your students. So there's your PSA for the day. Band nerds, don't wear black. Get lots of water. God, please put on some deodorant. See y'all next time.